We'd like to show you how to use the autocomplete polygon tool and you're using this when you're trying to digitize groups of polygons that abut each other. Now we had you use this just add polygon tool before but the autocomplete tool is in the same set of tools so I have a example polygon data layer and I've opened it for editing here in the edit window and then I'm on the create and when I make it active I can select this autocomplete polygon and that allows us to not have to digitize the same line twice which is never a good thing because as the readings show you can create lots of headaches for yourself, slivers and other things. So I activate the tool, I click inside an existing selected polygon, or just an existing polygon, and then click outside along the edge that I want to create. So this is sort of the exit point where I want them to join in. So I'm just going to do this polygon that borders another polygon. So let's say we're going to end it right here. And then I double click inside and you see it creates a polygon with the outer edge I just digitized and the inner edge I just I digitized previously. So again, I can start, let's say I want to digitize this little patch of grass. So I start inside or on the edge of the existing polygon and I just digitize along my new edge creating the new polygon and then inside an existing polygon. And when I double left click inside, it closes the polygon. You, now you notice it used the boundaries of two different polygons to close this one. So it can match along one or match along many. And this is quite useful then with this autocomplete to uh, build on a set of adjacent polygons. Now it looks funny while you're digitizing, but then it catches and snaps along the line when you're done. And so I just have to start inside and digitize along an edge. Now you'll notice here, if I end inside one here, it will give me a strange um, response. It doesn't do anything because I don't have a complete enclosed polygon. So I could go ahead and just digitize around this one that exists. And I'm going to actually short circuit this one and then close back inside my starting polygon and then it gets it right. So you have to make sure you have a completely closed polygon when you do this. So again, if I go to another polygon here and then just try and close it, it gets that inner part and not the outer part. Now you can do the same thing you did with points and lines and polygons. So I can delete the last one. I can select if I don't like how I digitized something and delete. Another thing that we haven't shown you yet is there's this undo tool. So if I made a mistake deleting something, I can undo my last delete and uh, then switch again between the regular isolated polygon and do this little island here. And I can go back to the autocomplete and do an area off that island. So I can switch back and forth using the tools as appropriate that I need. And you see then that this boundary here along the edge is digitized just once and then I use the autocomplete to get adjacent parts. Now I can do some quite complex polygons. I can go around two or three, but this is how you use this basic tool to help you construct features.